What is up? My name's Brad and this is Operation N64. Now if you guys are new to the channel, in this series we're trying to build an N64 collection starting off with just £10 by using our charity shops, our car boots, our Facebook marketplace, looking for stuff for cheap that we can sell for a profit to build a game fund to buy N64 bangers. Now, as always, before we get into this week's episode, let's do the updates to the game fund. And like I said in the last one, we have a good week, bad week, good week, bad week. And this week's been a pretty good week. We made like five or six sales. Now, the first thing we sold was that WWE uh, United States Championship belt. We sold that for £7. We then sold them two Batman Funko plushies for thirteen ninety eight to the same buyer. We also sold that WWE uh, Tribute to the Troops DVD. We sold that for £9.99. Uh, we sold that Wario Land 4 uh, GBA game for $19.99. And then we sold uh, that brand new sealed copy of Coraline for £10. So after fees and everything, that's a grand total of this to add to the game fund for a grand total of this. Yeah, not too shabby. Pretty happy with that. Uh, now, I just want to keep building this game fund up. I'm actually going back to the hometown in a couple of weeks. Uh, so it'll be nice to be in a different environment to go out hunting. Uh, if any of you guys are from Surrey or in the Surrey area near Woking or Guildford, let me know if there's any like retro game shops other than like the CEX. Uh, yeah, let me know if there's any like independent game shops in like the Woking, Guildford area, like our surrounding sort of area in Surrey. Um, I've been in South Wales for like 11, 12 years now, so I'm very much out of touch. So yeah, let me know if there's any game shops I should visit. Uh, but anyway, let's get into this week's episode. Let's go. What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Operation N64. Now, I thought we started this year off pretty well. We picked up three N64 games, two of which were on our original list. So, yeah, not too bad at all. Um, we started off our hunt this week in our favourite place. I haven't had luck in here for quite some time, I'm honest. You can see they do get a fair amount of games in here. There's a big, big stack of games here. And they're not all just FIFAs and stuff. There are some other bits and pieces here, but just nothing uh, worth picking up. Uh, but cool to see... Hopefully my luck will change in this place very, very soon. Uh, I also saw these and the nostalgia hit me hard, man. Who remembers fun facts, file of facts, these things. Do you remember these little things? I used to get the little white file of facts and used to fill them with all the different uh, like uh, different sections. Yeah, mad that. Uh, I hit this charity shop here and I uh, saw this cool uh, sleeve cover for Kane and Lynch 2. Um, this is a £1.50 game. I think it would have charged me £2 for it. I am loving these sleeve covers and I did, did consider picking it up. But I feel like I might be able to find it for about a pound fifty uh, in CEX one day. It's not like a, a very sought after game, I can imagine, but um, cool to see. Uh, went into the toy section then. They normally have quite a good selection of toys. Uh, found a jelly cat. Always going to pick jelly cats up. Um, yeah, had a good flip, flip through all the rest of the toys, but uh, couldn't really find anything else. I then popped into town, I think I was doing a trade at CX, so I popped to the chow shops while I was there. I uh, saw this Wii Sports Resort, uh, £3 on it, I think they only give you about £5 trade in now, uh, but this thing was pretty pretty badly scratched, so I did leave it behind. I uh, did check out the other games to see if there was anything else, but um, not really, for £3 a game, um, there wasn't anything else up there. And I also saw this in Guitar Hero Live here, and it had 60 quid on it, uh, so yeah, I didn't, didn't touch that. Uh, this is where they keep the games in this charity shop in a little blue box on the floor. Uh, but nothing new in here. All the same stuff that's been in here a little while. Um, just double checking them DS cases after finding Pokemon White that time in the DS case. Uh, I have to check them. Check them all. Uh, a couple of plushies here. This I probably would pick up on another occasion, but because the games room is is still a mess and five pound is just a bit too much. Uh, but I love love plushies like this. Um, but five pound that's crazy. Uh, I saw this Squishmallow here, one pound fifty. Uh, particular with the ones I'm picking up now, I did end up picking that one up. Uh, there were a few in here, uh, but I just kind of go for the ones that my daughters might like. And if they don't like them, I'll sell them on. But if they do like them, then then I'll give them to them. A couple of little Smurfs here. My youngest went through a phase of absolutely loving the Smurfs. There's Papa Smurf. I think there was two of them. £1.50. Did consider it. And another Squishmallow here. It's like some multicoloured like penguin. Uh, but I left this one behind. Uh, 
I saw these books, I thought these were quite unusual, kind of like uh, the old horrible history sort of thing. These are the dead famous, uh, no idea, but I thought they were kind of cool. Some different uh, different historical icons. Uh, uh, yeah, very cool to see. You have no idea, but, uh, but yeah, cool to see them. Uh, and then I also saw The Rock Says, this uh, autobiography. Uh, the Rock was my favourite wrestler back in the day. Um, I would like to read this. I think this would be kind of cool to read, but I, I did leave it behind. But if it is there still, I might pick it up. Uh, I do like a uh, good autobiography now and then. A couple games in this charity shop. Um, they were priced though, like pretty much what they're worth. I think uh, I think two pound ninety nine for Infamous there. Yeah, I can't see the price on that one. This one was three ninety nine. Um, so yeah, I, I didn't pick any of them up. But nice to see different games in here because some of these charity shops just don't get games. You just never see them. Um, so yeah, it was kind of cool to see, but it's just not worth picking up. And then I saw these, and my god, I must have contemplated picking these up for like pff, half hour. I picked these things up, put them down, looked at them, just kept looking at them, picking them up, putting them down. Um, man, they were really cool to see. I think they're 94 or 96 figures. Uh, £10 each on them. They had three of them in there. Brand, you know, still in box, still on cart in box. Man, I thought about it for ages. Like, Let me know what you guys would have done. Uh, Xena Warrior Princess, very cool. Like, not nothing like, not, not my favourite thing by any means. But I still have mad nostalgia for Xena. And to see these in box... Man, I, I don't know. Did I make a mistake? Should I have picked them up? Would you guys have picked these up for a tenner each? Or is that just a bit too much? If they were a fiver, 100%. I don't know. I don't know where my thinking is, but very cool to see. Uh, I think I'm a little bit glad I didn't get them. A few games in here. Um, some Xbox One stuff. £3 a game in this shop as well. I uh, ended up pulling out most of these uh, Xbox One games just to check them out, see if they are worth picking up for £3. Uh, a lot of PS2 as well, There's a couple of PS3s. But like I said, £3 a game in here, so you know you kind of need to pick up decent ones with a little bit of value to uh, to make it make it a deal. And then a couple of games in here, well, a couple of horror DVDs I had a little look at first. Uh, but yeah, then I, then I saw um, a couple of games at the bottom. A couple of Xbox One games again. I was seeing Xbox One in pretty much every charity shop. £2 each these were. Uh, I think Doom is a £3 game. And uh, what was the other one? Dishonored. I think that's like a £2 game. And then on my way home, I saw this charity shop. And my God, they must have just had a huge collection dropped off. Because they had a ton of like comics and manga. Uh, graphic novels, loads and loads of stuff here. I did spend some time flicking through it, checking it out. I mean, it was priced. Uh, it was priced. The prices were good. Uh, collection prices, if you know what I mean. Uh, you've been getting a good deal for your collection. But in terms of just sort of like stuff to resell, I feel like the margins weren't there. I did really thoroughly try and check out loads of this stuff. There were some competition in there with me, uh, doing exactly the same thing. And I felt like I was missing out. He was picking up stuff and making a pile. And I was just like one step behind him. But I did try my very best to uh, to get through it and, and see if I could find anything. Yeah, sometimes your head's just not in it. I mean, you know, these manga here, that was at five for seven quid. That's a, that's a great deal. I don't know how much I would have been able to sell them on for, but I don't think the margin was there. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm being greedy. Tell me, tell me what you guys think. Um, but yeah, very cool to see all of this stuff in a charity shop. Uh, they also had some games uh, on the shelf. Uh, two or three quid each these were. PS4 games, man. Some great titles as well. So I ended up picking all of these up. And they also had tons and tons of comics. I spoke to the woman. She said this all came from the same person. Loads and loads of DC stuff here. Um, there were 40 pence each or three for a pound. 
<clears throat> and we are back in the game space. And like a broken record, I am still under the weather. I tried to get a GP appointment. The 13th of February is the earliest they can get me in. Uh, so I've tried my best to get out this week, but I've also been trying hard to sort of like recover, feel better, self-medicate and all that sort of thing. So I haven't been in the games room. done any building in the games room hasn't been touched for a week. And I've just tried to get out when I can. And even when I've got out, my head just hasn't been in the game. And I've probably missed a few opportunities. Uh, there was that charity shop just full of someone's collection. And I did spend a, and a half hour, 40 minutes looking at stuff and just kind of got tired of it, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit gutted. I just want to feel better and get back to normal. But anyway, enough of the sob story, Brad. Let's get into what we picked up this week. So we spent a total of £13 this week, so we can deduct that from the game fund. I also picked up one thing for the collection, which we'll get into as well. Um, but the first thing we picked up, now I've talked about these before, very hit and miss. And now what I'm tending to do is pick the ones up that my daughters might like. And if they don't like it, then I'll sell them on. And I picked up this little like, pink uh, like poodle. It's a Squishmallow. Um, I paid one fifty for it. Could potentially get about eight or nine quid on eBay for it, and the girls don't like it, so I probably will stick this on eBay. Even if I make a couple of quid on it, uh, it's not too bad. But yeah, with squishmallows, be a bit more particular with which ones you're picking up, because they don't have a great deal of value. I think they're just everywhere now. Um, but yeah, one pound fifty, potentially like six quid, seven quid. The next thing we picked up is a jelly cat. Now this is um, like a kids. Like music box thing for like babies. I think you like hang it on the side of their um, cot, is it? Now it's not got a great deal of value. I think I paid 50p for it. Uh, I think it's only worth like three quid. But I did pick up like a little rattle jelly cat as well. So I'm thinking of like bundling them together because that one has just been sitting on eBay with no bites. So maybe they'll sell better as a bundle. So yeah, jelly cats always pick them up. Uh, but this one just doesn't have the most value. We then went into his charity shop, which was just full of comics, manga, uh, anime, uh, figures and board games and stuff. And I did spend a bit of time looking through them all, scanning them. Um, but they were priced they were priced good for a collector, sort of bad for a reseller, in my opinion. Uh, there wasn't a great margin for profit, but it was a decent price if you wanted to buy it for your collection, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, I did scan a lot of stuff up. There were other sellers in there. I actually spoke to him afterwards, a bloke who was in there doing the same thing. He asked me, do, do you sell on eBay, blah, blah, blah. So he was in there doing the same thing, and he was there before me. Probably picked out all the good stuff. But anyway, I divulge. I go on. Uh, they did have some games in there, uh, some decent PS4 games. Um, I picked them all up. And the first one is uh, Lego Avengers. I uh, paid three quid for this. I think there's like five or six pound trading uh, on this one. The next one is Spider-Man. Uh, I paid three quid for this as well. I think there's like 13 or 14 quid trading. I think they still sell it for like 18 to 20. Uh, these will probably all get traded in, I think. And then the last one is just Raymond Legends. Now, I picked up this recently on a PS3, uh, so I don't need it on both platforms. Um, but I paid three quid for it. No, two quid for it. I think it's got about four or five quid trading. I'm not too sure. I have to double check. But yeah, nice little pick up and a decent little bit of trading. And the last thing we picked up uh, it was in another chat shop. It was this uh, Forza 5. I think Forza 5 Horizon has a decent decent bit of trading, decent bit of value. This one right here, I think about five or six pound trading. Paid three quid for it. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. Keep an eye out for the Horizon version of this game. And that is everything we picked up to try and sell or trade. Uh, yeah, like I said, my head's just not been in the game. Uh, I do apologise. I feel like I'm letting you guys down sometimes if I don't, if I'm not 100% in. But you know, I'm human, life is life. It's sometimes you just got to uh, take your foot off the gas a little bit sometimes. And uh, But I do apologise. I'm hoping to be back at it full on next week. Uh, the one thing I picked up for the collection is this uh, uh, Crash Bandicoot Trilogy for the PS4. Paid two quid for it. I think there's like eight, nine quid trading. I'm not too sure. I'm keeping this for the collection. I love me some Crash Bandicoot. Um, does need a new box. This one's a little bit chewed up, but I did pick up this empty case from a car boot a little while back. Nice box, so I, I'll just trade them out. Oh, and before I leave you guys, I did do a little trade in at CEX. Um, I took in like that Doctor Who box set and uh, some other things and we got a grand total of this to add to the CEX fund for a grand total of this. Um, I'm still going to build that fund up, um, try and pick off the games if I can with the CEX credit, but if not, I'm just going to pick up um, 
any N64 games, if I'm honest. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please let me know by smashing that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. We're only 31 away from that 2,000 mark. So yeah, I'd really appreciate it. And as always, be rad, stay rad, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.